Hi everybody, today I'll show you how to create job application form in WordPress. So let's just begin. To create the job application form in WordPress, what we need to do, we need to go inside the plugins and click on the add new plugin. And from here, we have to search for Forminator. Okay, so as you can see here, we have the Forminator forms at the top of the search. So we have to install this and activate this. And I have already activated this. So after that, what we have to do, we actually need to go inside the Forminator that you'll be able to see on your sidebar. So let's click on this. So as you can see here, we are inside the dashboard of the Forminator. So in here, what we have to do, we actually have to click on create in the forms. So we have to click on create. And from here, you will be able to see different templates here. Okay. Some of the templates are the part of pre version that we are using. So in the pro version, we do have the job application form if you can see here. But obviously to use this, we have to upgrade from the free version to the pro version. But we will be building our job application form from the scratch. Okay, so I'm going to actually use here the template that would be the contact form. So let's click on use template. And I'm going to name this as job application form. So let's click on create. All right. Okay, so here you can see here we have the first name, we have the email address, we have the phone number and we have the message. So in here, I would like to modify the first name into the full name. Okay, so we're going to simply change the label here. So that will be full name. Okay. And after this, you can also explore the settings here. So in the settings, if you want to make your input field a required field, you can simply select the required field. Either you can go here with the optional. And after this, we have the styling. So if you want to add any additional CSS class on this, you can add this. And in the last, we have the visibility. So if you want to add any conditional visibility, you can simply add this from here. But right now, we don't need to do anything here. So we're going to simply go to the labels again. And we will simply click on apply. And now you can see here, we have our full name. And after that, we have our email address. That is what we need. And then we have the phone number. So I'm going to change this to the required field. So let's go down into the settings. And from here, let's just click on required. Perfect. Now let's click on apply. Similarly, now we have the message. So obviously, we don't need the message in our job application form. We can also remove this, but I want to use this. So how can I use this? I'm going to write down career goal here. Okay. And in the placeholder text, I can write down enter your career goal here. Okay. And if I go inside the settings, you can see here we are having a similar kind of options, but we do have a rich text editor. So if you want to enable this, you can enable this. And after this, we have the mixed character lens and we have the default height. So in the styling, we are having the similar kind of options. And after this, we have the visibility. So in the visibility, we do have the same kind of options. Okay. So now we're going to simply click on apply here. Perfect. So now what we have to do, I'm going to add one more field here. So this will be a simple text field. So let's click on input and click on insert here. And this will be position. So here we're going to write down position applying for. All right. We don't have to add any default value. And after this, we have the settings. We have the styling. We have the visibility. So I'm going to make this a required field. And into the labels, I'm going to add, write down the name of the position you are applying for. All right. So now let's click on apply. And I want to have this before the career goal. And after this, what do I need? Now I want to upload my CV. So for that, I would need to have the file uploader here. So for that, we have to click on file upload. I'm going to write down upload CV here. And here, what we have to do. So I have to specify here the file type. Okay, so I only want to go here with the documents. Okay, so I'm going to disable all the audio files, all the images, all the video file formats, and also these ones as well. All right. So in here, even in the document, I only want to go here with the PDF and the doc file and also the docs. Okay, so I think this is enough. And this will be the required field as well. Now, we can also change the file size limit here. 
okay so i can change the file size limit to the uh, 12 nb so now let's click on apply here and similarly i want to upload the cover letter here so for that i'm gonna simply duplicate this and i just need to change the name here so this will be upload cover letter and we're gonna go here with a similar kind of file types all right so now let's click on apply again and now what we have to do we're gonna have two more options here so this will be the radio button so i'm gonna write the label as how did you hear about us all right so in the options so first one can be the google ads so second one will be the social media platforms so i'm gonna add one more option here and this will be let's say referred by friend or family or something like this and we can add one more option found out on linkedin okay so i think these options are enough so i have to go into the settings okay so i think i can make this an optional field and we have this uh, layout so that can be the vertical and horizontal and yeah i think this would look fine and after that we have the calculations and on calculations we don't have anything so we're gonna simply go back into the labels and click on apply and now we have to add one more thing here that would be the checkbox and on the checkbox we're gonna have our agreement let's just go into the settings and make this a required field all right so i'm gonna delete the second value here okay so here we cannot go without the labels so i'm gonna ask the question here do you agree with us so this will be only the option yes and let's click on apply perfect so now we have created our job application form so now we have to click on publish and now we can copy the short code here and now let's just go into the pages and click on the add new page okay so now i'm gonna name this as the job application form okay so here we can use the two things and i want to edit this into the elementor so i'm gonna simply click on edit with elementor okay so here we can add our job application form in the two ways either we can use the short code all right and you can add the short code value here that is the first method and we also have the second method so let me just apply the spacing from the top all right so i'm going to go back into the layout here and i would add the heading as well so let's click on the heading here that would appear before our form so we have our application form here and after that we have to add some space we have to add a space between our heading and the form so let's just add some space here and this is looking fine so now let's just publish this and now let's click on preview changes and you will be able to see our job form here okay so you can add the details here and this is the first method of adding your job form but if you don't want to use the elementor you can go back to the default uh, wordpress editor you can apply the short code method but you also have one more thing here which is form block if you can see here at the top of the search so this block is actually given by the forminator form so we can simply click on this one and here we can select the form here and this will directly add our job application form okay so i'm going to remove this one that we have added in elementor perfect so now let's save this and let's click on view page and this is how it is looking okay so i think i would go back and prefer to have our form that we have built with the elementor all right so let's just remove this and we're going to go inside edit with elementor again all right so now let's click on preview changes perfect so now we have to test our form here so i'm going to write down some details here all right so i have filled out my form here and now what i have to do i have to okay i have to do one thing here is to click on the button all right so i also had to change the text of the button here but we're going to do this after this okay so as you can see here our form has been submitted now what we have to do we're going to go back into our dashboard and let's just go into the forminator again okay so the first thing that i have to do is to go inside our job application form i'm going to click on edit because i have to change the text of the button here so this will be submit okay so now let's click on apply 
and now to see our form applications we have to click on submissions and from here i have to click on my job application form here click on show submissions now you can see here we have got our data here okay we have got our cv here we have got our cover letter here and we have got our name email address and all the data that we were asking and if you wanted to export this detail you can simply export this from here all right and this is how you can create the job application form in wordpress so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel